welcome everyone. So, in our previous lecture we argued that the uni a universal sufficient statistic for partially observed problems that means problems where we do not have perfect information about the state. Uh, for such problems the, a universal sufficient statistic is this conditional distribution the conditional distribution of the state given the information and this is what we call the belief state. The reason this was universal is because this is what would work for every stochastic control problem uh, regardless of what the uh, what the exact algebraic form of the problem is whether it has linear dynamics or nonlinear dynamics whether it has uh, a quadratic cost or some other cost this is what would be uh, a sufficient statistic that would work for any of these problems. We uh, however there were specific problem classes that admitted more sharper uh, that that admitted sharper sufficient statistics in particular like we had seen for the uh, for the linear quadratic problem we had seen that the sufficient statistic was actually the conditional expectation of the state not the condition not the just the conditional distribution but rather the more specifically just the conditional expectation of the state given the information the, the controller could uh, was a could be defined as a function of this particular quantity right so what uh, in order to argue so we had we wrote out uh, the uh, a, a formulation for a uh, pomdp that is a partially observed markov decision process so this was just a a, a, a model with uh, where the state of a system evolves on a finite set 1 to n the actions were a finite on from a finite set 1 to u we had an observation space uh, this this observation space uh, was denoted by uh, we had a the state evolved according to a controlled Markov chain with a control u with this prob uh, probability kernel the observations we got were based on this probability kernel as, as uh, depending on the state and the control applied at the previous time step and we had a stage wise cost. And the problem was to choose uh, of course actions as a function of the information at each uh, at each time step where the information comprised of the, the probability distribution of the initial state the, uh, the the history of control actions and the history of observations so far this is this was the information i k so okay so the only difference from uh, the formulation as far as uh, the linear quadratic problem was concerned is is that the linear quadratic problem had an explicit form here for the probability uh, for for this pro for these dynamics we had an explicit equation here that told us these dynamics but as i have said before in the case of uh, where you have perfect state information as well any of these forms are interchangeable one can always write out uh, something uh, a, uh, the the uh, a problem where the dynamics are given in terms of this this prob in terms of this or one can write out for this any of this a, a kind of dynamical equation. The only problem only difficulty is in deriving such an equation but let us not get into those matters for us these are theoretically these are equivalent ok. So, the problem was to choose uh, a policy uh, as of uh, where which was a sequence of mu's, mu's, of, mu's are a function uh, of i, I k that result therefore in the control action u k in order to minimize this this cost starting from an initial state which is distributed according to a distribution pi 0. Remember also that we change the notation somewhat and this is because we are we I keep changing my reference books. So, as a result there is a slight change of notation as well pi which was earlier denoting policy is now denoting the uh, the belief or uh, so in, in this case the belief of the initial state uh, the later uh, later it will denote the belief of later uh, or the belief state itself and the policy is denoted simply by mu. So, mu here without the uh, without any index is the entire policy vector. So, it is mu 0 to mu n minus 1 this is what is our policy. And what we argued at the end of the previous lecture was that the cost ok the cost under a certain policy mu starting from an initial state distributed according to pi 0 this cost could be written at in terms of the belief state right. So, we, we we took this cost expression the total cost expression uh, no dynamic programming applied as yet this is just simply the total cost expression and then using the the, iterate, uh, the law of iterator expectations or the smoothing property of expectations we simply we were a, we express this the cost in terms of in terms of this these pi k's 
pi k is here remember was the belief state this is the distribution of pi k here written out here right. So, this the cost could was expressed in, the, in these terms. So, in other words for all practical purposes we now have a system whose cost is a function of pi k right. So, we can take the state of this of this system to be pi k. The only question that is left in front of us is how does pi k evolve as a function of pi k minus 1 and 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 what is then the noise in the system and and you know uh, is in short what are the new dynamics of the system. So, this for this new dynamics we are again back to the earlier question that we had we, 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 we dealt with which is asking how can we update pi k uh, from pi k minus 1 and any new observations that we get. So, if you if you have pi k minus 1 is remember the probability distribution of the state at time k minus 1 given the information up until time k minus 1. How do we update that to to get the probability distribution of the state at time k using the information up to until time k right. So, this is the we, we uh, if you re recall this is nothing but the filtering problem. So, the problem of filtering was precisely the problem of recursively computing these these belief states. So, what I will write out now is an equation uh, that will basically help us transform uh, pi, pi k minus 1 and any new information that we are getting to pi uh, and use that to trans uh, to get pi k which is going to be the belief state at time k right. So, here is therefore that that equation. So, the uh, so this 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 comes from simply the filtering equation that we had written out earlier if you recall we had we we, we had written out something like this that pi k was a function t of of pi k minus 1 the new observation y k that we get. Uh, now, at that, at that time we were not explicitly writing out control actions because we were uh, you know the control actions remember were just given to us, but now we are given that information also. So, let us write it explicitly here pi k minus 1. So, this is uh, so it is the same algorithm as before. So, a, and it will give uh, so the uh, the only difference will be the explicit appearance now of of the term u k minus 1 in all of these calculations. So, what is t? Well, t it turns out can be if can be written as t of so t for any pi y comma u can be written in this in the following form. It can be written as b y of u times p transpose of u times pi divided by a term which is sigma of pi y comma u. Now, I will explain what all of these terms are. So, B y of u is a diagonal matrix. So, this is the, the matrix comprises of the following. So, it is these probability kernels that we had earlier. So, remember we have these probability kernels here B i y for every initial state for every state i and observation observation y. So, those are the ones that we will stack up to create a, a diagonal matrix. Uh, we will stack them up for every value of the state. So, we have n states. So, we will write this as b y b 1 y of u and a bunch of zeros and b 2 y of u and again some zeros and eventually b n y of u. Remember this is small n not the time horizon n, but the number of states n right. So, this is this is the matrix B y of u. The matrix P of u is simply again can be is in fact given more easily it is it is the matrix written right here. So, we have here uh, the probability transition here from i to j ok from state i to state j for a given for a given action u. So, this can be thought of as a matrix right we can think of this for every u you can think of this as a matrix it will be an n cross n matrix because there are n states and n actions uh, sorry n states um, uh, in, our, in our case. So, for every action you this will become an n cross n matrix that matrix is what that matrix is 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 p. p. 
So, here P is the matrix P i P of u is the matrix comprised with of entries P i j of u where this this comes up in the ith row and this is the this is the jth ith row and jth column. All right. So, that transpose pi is what is written here. So, pi also which is can be thought of as a vector because pi remember is is a is a probability distribution on on the uh, on the states. The states it is states themselves are uh, these the state space x remember is 0 1 is is just 1 to n right is this is your states this is our state space. So, pi is actually a vector in R n because it can be thought of as a vector in R n it is a probability distribution. So, I can just stack up pi 1 pi 2 pi n pi, uh, pi 1 to pi n as a vector and this gives me a probability distribution on uh, on x. But it is not every vector is not a probability distribution. So, pi must satisfy uh, uh, pi has to uh, be must satisfy that it is a vector in R n, but it is also greater than equal to 0 and its components sum to 1. So, the way we write this thing is is we write this kind of 1 transpose z equals 1. This 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 bold 1 here this kind this 1 is simply a vector of 1s is a vector with all entries as 1 and it is a vector of appropriate dimension. We do not need to write the exact dimension here because it is understood from the context. Since z itself is a vector of, uh, of dimension n, 1 is also a vector in R n. So, this is a vector in R right. So, pi can is a is a vector from this set right. So, so in other words now uh, because in our uh, in our belief state formulation we are going to be taking pi as the state of the system the state space of the new formulation is going to actually be this. This is in fact going to be the state space of the belief state formulation. So, I will explain more about this in a moment. So, this is this this is what uh, is in the numerator of of uh, of uh, of of t of this expression for t what is the denominator the denominator is this expression sigma so let me write out what sigma of pi y u is this is in fact rather easily given this is in fact just the uh, as you would have you would recall from uh, the filtering equation this is simply the integral of the numerator taken with respect to uh, taken with respect to the uh, to with respect to the state itself. So, this is this is the integral of this. So, in because in this case we are talking of finitely many states. So, the integral is simply a summation. So, this here is 1 transpose b y of u p transpose u p transpose of u times pi that is sigma of u right. So, now as a result, so, so uh, to summarize we now have what do we have here? We have that uh, we have that pi is given can be given in terms of pi k can be given in terms of pi k minus 1, y k and u k minus 1 uh, yeah, where t uh, uh, where the right hand side is this function t where t can is written in this in this form here. Right. So now let's let's take a um, take a step uh, step back and try to understand what we what we've been able to accomplish. Our main uh, the the main thing that we've been able to do is that we have now written in the previous uh, lecture we wrote out the cost here in terms of of these pi k's. What we've done here now is that we have written out what looks like a dynamical equation. We look, it looks like the, the pi k at time k is a function of pi k uh, pi at time k minus 1 
uh, some noise which is your observation y k and the action at, at time k minus 1. So, this is effectively looking like uh, basically like these the a state space formulation essentially it is as if you have the state given in terms of a explicit dynamical equation with, uh, with uh, the state at time k given as a function of uh, state at time k minus 1, the action at time k minus 1 and noise. Uh, the noise is you know you can either talk of it as time k plus at the at the next time step or you say that the noise is comes after the action. So, that is what is happening here in any case this is something that is and that comes after after the action. So, this is what we get uh, uh, as our new state equation or the dynamical equ dynamics equation. We have now therefore, a cause we do not basically now need to think that instead of thinking of the state as a probability distribution just think of it as some vector right. It is some vector that lies in, in this space uh, in this space here this this space here. So, the vector so this is therefore, our new state space it this here is our new state space this is the state space of the belief state formulation. E, our dynamical equation is given through this boxed equation and the cost is given through this this expression here. All of this put together gives us basically a stochastic control problem which now lives in the space pi in the space of pi k's which is which is this this vectors this space of vectors here. So, when the in, uh, so why is this a space of vectors well because the initial because the initial problem had had finitely many states probability distributions on those states are are vectors. So, the, the belief state formulation now has infinitely many states, but finite dimensional uh, but a finite dimensional state space that is this one. It is infinitely many states because there are infinitely many probability distributions, but the but the dimension of that state of that space is finite. And the the state transitions through these dynamics here and we have a, a cost uh, a cost that is given uh, in uh, stage wise cost given in terms of. Uh, uh, given in terms of these these vectors. In other words we can just simply essentially ignore the fact that this was in fact even a partially observed problem to begin with. This this simply is a problem where with a vector state space whose the, the vectors just happen to be probability distributions on a certain state uh, on a certain state space and, uh, and then compute the optimal policy in terms of in terms of these uh, in terms of these uh, these states which are which are the belief states right. So, the what has happened therefore, is that the a problem of imp incomplete or partial observation uh, imperfect state information or partial observation on a finite state space has been reduced to a problem of perfect information on a different state space which is finite dimensional but infinite which is the space which is the space of belief states and on that state on that space space because it is now a perfectly observed problem we can simply apply the dynamic uh, the uh, Bellman equation and the other uh, dynamic programming algorithm that we have developed for the case where the state is perfectly known right. So, therefore, this actually gives uh, will give us therefore, a, a, a way of solving the uh, solving the, uh, the partially observed problem through through this these uh, through these means. So, essentially through the reduction to the belief state. Now, uh, let me let me write out the theorem that that pertains to this. So, and also make a note of these observations. So, thus the P O M D P has been transformed to a problem to a to a MDP let me write it like that like to a MDP where the cause where the state is the belief state by k 
state space is these the probability vectors like this, the set of all probability vectors of this kind, the observations are perfect. We now have perfect observations remember perfect ob observations are perfect because we can always we, we know the probability distribution this is what we are computing. Observations are perfect, state dynamics are is this these are all state dynamics and the cost is the cost is this cost here summation c u k transpose pi k plus c n transpose pi n c u k transpose pi k plus C n transpose pi n. This is our uh, and the initial state let me write that also initial state is so this is what we have been able to accomplish. So you can see this here is a um, a very powerful reduction because we have been able to reduce every problem of with partially observed uh, uh, state information to a problem where the state information is perfectly known ok. And uh, so, this is this the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this basically helps us um, of course, it, this comes at the expense of some uh, increase in complexity for instance, we have to look at a, a much richer state space now because the, the state space which was earlier finite is now become uh, has become infinite like this as as seen here this is now our state space. Uh, the cost also we lose some amount of structure related to the cost because now the, the, the you know the, the action is now uh, somehow appearing a little, little more uh, in a little less explicit manner. But nonetheless you know the, the issues related to not having information has have been worked around. Uh, this is this is this is something that we can this is something that we can celebrate. Right. So, uh, let me write out therefore, the, the theorem associated with this theorem is simply that we can the theorem basically says that one can now do dynamic programming on this. The optimal policy I let me write this on a fresh page the theorem is that the minimum expected cost is achieved by a policy mu which is of the form mu 0 star mu by a policy mu star which is mu 0 star to mu n minus 1 star where u k is mu k star of pi k ok mu k star of pi k where pi k is your is the is now uh, the is the belief state. In fact, the policy can be found through the dynamic programming uh, through the dynamic programming equation through the backward induction of the dynamic programming of dynamic programming. In fact, mu star is the solution of the following dp algorithm. So, where you initialize now again j n of pi to be c n transpose pi ok and then for k equal to 0 to n minus 1 we just do 
j k of pi uh, to be the minimum of u in u in u of c u transpose pi plus summation k y in summation is now y in y j. So, here I all I am doing here is taking the expectation of the uh, of the cost to go. So, this is uh, j k plus 1 of the next state what is the next state given by it is given by t of t of pi y and u uh, right. So, when you get an uh, observation y and the current state is uh, pi and we take an action u this is the next state and this this appear this comes up with prob with a probability uh, the probability of seeing this particular observation the pro well that probability is uh, 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 the the is given by sigma pi y u where sigma is remember the term that we wrote out out here this term is sigma right and mu star of pi is the argmin which is the optimal action mu k star of pi is the argmin of the same uh, same expression above c and uh, the j mu star is of pi when you start off from any any initial any initial state pi uh, this is equal to so this has to be written remember for all pi and j star mu of pi is simply j0 of pi which is which means that the optimal uh, the optimal cost this here is the optimal cost and this here is the cost at the last iteration. So, this therefore, is the dynamic programming equation for any partially observed problem. So, with this we have been able to conclude uh, uh, our study of partially observed problems. Now, you might one thing you might wonder is well is this then the end? of uh, of uh, of the complexities that arise in stochastic control problems is there anything anything more uh, uh, that and that one uh, one needs to know apart from now uh, what we've already studied so it turns out that i have surprises for you there are many more complexities that arise in fact mind boggling levels of complexities that arise because of many subtle assumptions that we have made so far so we will look into all of these in the in the in the next lecture and for the remaining part of this course